you wanted to create an application using the serverless tech stacks so you created with api gateway and the uh, lambdas yeah if you see you have allocated uh, 1024 mb of memory to the lambda but uh, do you know whether that memory is optimized to that lambda whether you have over allocated or you have allocated enough memory and when you test the application it's working fine there is no issue with the application it is giving the response as you expect and if you see yeah it is working as you expected but um, to find out really whether the memory is correctly allocated or you have over provisioned your memory uh, let's check in the lambda uh, cloudwatch logs Mm. Hold on. Um, not this one. Let's go to CloudWatch logs group list. Yeah. If we open one of the requests now, right? You can see the allocated memory and used memory over here. Yeah. Let's see. If you see right the allocated memory is 1024 but the used memory is just 94 MB this uh, only 94 MB of memory is enough for this lambda but um, how can we make sure um, if it is um, you know if more users are hitting the request is that enough to find out that we have this AWS lambda power tuning that was developed by AWS verified author we can use this to find out um, the memory you can uh, deploy that using that deploy button and once you deploy it you can see the executor analyzer initializer and cleaner uh, lambda functions has been installed in your aws account but also if you go to step function right you can see the power tuning state machine Yeah, once deployed, you can see all these uh, step functions and lambda functions. To test your lambda, click on the start execution and you will have to provide the inputs. Let's get the lambda which you want to test. Yeah, list is the one. Now we have executed. Let's um, you use that. You have to get this input from the serverless guide. You can get the ARN of the lambda which you want to test it and pass that lambda function ARN over here. And if you see the power values are the MBs 128 to 56 MB and number is 10. If you want to pass any payload, you can pass the parallel invocation strategy is cost you can change the strategies uh, there are a few other values strategies cost speed and balance right we'll see that how it works let's test with the cost now once you start execute it will initialize execute clean and analyze and optimize your lambda basically it will execute for the different power values which you have passed i mean dmbs 128 MB, 256 MB, and up to 3 GB. Uh, it will execute and provide the list of which memory is most optimized. Yeah, the execution is succeeded. Let's go to output. If you see the output, the power value is 128. You can allocate only 128 MB to that lambda as per our uh, optimizer i mean the uh, power tuning state machine uh, let's look at the graph hold on if you see the graph right the best cost mm, for 128 mb 250 mb fight will up to 3 gb which we have paused and if you see the execution time and the execution cost for uh, each mb we have passed and we can find out um, what mb is necessary for our lambda um yeah if, if you see 
the lesser uh, memory allocated will take high response time and if you uh, allocate more memory the response time is very less but if you see the cost it is high let's see about the uh, speed now hold on yeah let's execute it's executing executed yeah if you see the speed the power value is 2048 mb we have located 1048 mb right if you see the uh sorry 1024 mb if you see the uh, 1024 mb uh, the speed is just um oh, how much it is um it is nearly uh, 120 milliseconds i guess and if you see the, if you allocate extreme memory that is 3 GB even it's not giving you more um, you know high response the um, less response time so you can find it find out that uh, now we can use balance as well to test it let's see It's executing hold on yeah executed if you see the output if you see balanced it's if you want to get balanced in terms of cost and as well as the response time you can allocate uh, 2048 mb as per our the power tuning that is how we can find out what memory we can allocate to our lambda you can compare with the graphs and this is how the results will be and you can configure your memory as you need yeah if you see uh, in 512 MB right it's pretty much uh, we can consider the intersection point basically yes um, 256 MB and 512 MB the intersection point is the more balanced and you can also find the best cost best time worst cost worst time over here the worst time is 128 mb if you allocate 128 128 mb it's gonna give you more response time that is how it works and also one more thing you can see the consolidated um, the lambda uh, response time and uh, the uh, memory usage of the lambda functions uh, let's select one lambda function and select some time period uh, at least for the last one day right go to the lambda queries and determine the amount of over provision memory if you see we have allocated 2000 um, i mean 2868 provision memory but the max memory used is 99 mb the over provision is 2769 so we can find here as well for your consolidated uh, report <clears throat> but why power tuning if you see the uh, definition right that we can configure it more multiple power configuration from up to 128 gb to 128 mb to 3 gb and it also consulted the execution logs so we can use the lambda power tuning to find out the correct configuration of your lambda function and one more thing um in this power tuning right i'll show you one more thing we did not pass any payload over here let's try pass one more payload uh, let's get one lambda function with payload let's get that
copy your lambda arn pass the memories as necessary and here is the payload if you see the code we are actually getting the payload from our api of the path parameter dot id we have to get the id from the request parameter i mean the path parameter so to get the path parameter we have to pass it as an object path parameter dot id right path parameter object has the id id and pass the id of the lambda function i mean the value yeah if you, if you see this is the id we are getting from the result which we are passing yeah if you pass that in the path it will fetch only that value so this is how we can pass the id and we can execute uh, this is just to show how we can pass the payload to an uh, lambda if you are using the uh, api gateway right yeah execution succeed yeah if you see this lambda is um can be configured with 1024 mb yeah this is the graph for the lambda with 128 mb to 3 gb yeah uh, and if you see uh, that um if you see the execution cost and the execution time at the different um the memory configurations you can compare it and you can come to a conclusion whether how much memory can be allocated to this lambda uh, 